people. Hi. Well, we're here to celebrate fall today. It's a beautiful time of the year. It really is. We went uh, up to Warwick, New York, to a wonderful place <gasps> called... Warwick, New York? Warwick, New York. I know there. You do? I've been there. We used to call it Warwick because we're from Jersey originally, but I know where you... They have a movie theater there, a drive-in theater. I remember seeing Herman's Hermits and sitting on the grass at the Warwick movie theater, screaming like little girls. Really? It's well, a wonderful place. Isn't that fascinating? We didn't go up there to see Herman's Hermits or go to a movie. We went up there to pick apples at Ox Orchards. And on the way up, we stopped at Harriman State Park and found some beautiful foliage to look at. Foliage? It was. It was beautiful. The it, colors were magnanimous. Why, the colors are the same colors as in your dress. Yes. Where did you get that, Brini? It's... I made it. I'm speechless. Isn't it festive? It's fe You made it. I did make it. Oh, it's beautiful. I have to say, if that's the way you want to look, you've succeeded. Thank you. I think. Well, I think it's festive. And I made my little tassels to match. Isn't that cute? Yes. It's very country fall, I think. All right. Now, we brought back some marvelous apples. Don't they look delicious? That we pulled off the trees ourselves. Oh, just sat there picking away. <laughs> That's right. And we're going to make apple strudel. Yes. Yeah. 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 Gemütlich. Go what? Gemütlich, gnädige Frau. Well, this is very close. I mean, apple strudel, it's almost like we're in that whole neck of the woods where the food is very heavy and delicious. We made a Katbüller once, and it was really good, too. We did, yes, yeah. You know, the Germans, they like their, they like their solid, starchy, rich foods. I like, I like the Germans nice and starchy, too. Yes, yeah, and it's going to be really delicious, I think. You're going to enjoy it. And, you know, it's really simple to put together. Really? Yes. Now, our first step is to slice up our apples, and we did that. Uh, we peeled them and sliced them all. And before you do it, Mary Ellen, there you go. How did you know I was saying that? <laughs> I know you, darling. <laughs> that's mm. about four of them. They're so fresh. Yeah, aren't they good? So that's about... They taste right off the tree. Yeah. Oh, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were right off the tree. That's why they taste that way. Mm. It's good, isn't it? So, our next step is to put in some sugar. And we're going to use about a quarter of a cup of sugar and some wonderful cinnamon. And then we're going to mix these all up together. With your, with your hands, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My hands are, of course, clean. How did and you know I was going to ask? My hands are always clean. Ah, that's all nicely mixed. I'm going to do it myself. Tasty. Mm. And taste that cinnamon. For our next step, once we have prepared our apples, is to prepare the dough. Now, we're using uh, a purchased pastry dough. And you can make your own, but it's not necessary. Now, we're going <gasps> to flour you're, you're, and dish You're dirtying the Felix Populi towels. No, no, it's flour. It'll wash out easily. The nice thing about these towels is that the uh, white printing mm -hmm. is uh, is done with a process called discharge, which means that it removes the uh, color of the fabric from the fabric. So it's uh, I it love never it will never uh, fade and it will never flake. I love discharge on my towels. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to take our pastry dough here. It looks like manicotti. Well, it's it's puff pastry. Okay. And we're just going to press this out to make it thinner and bigger. It can never be too thin or too big. Greeny. 
Now, the thing that makes this work is that the towel has been floured, so it doesn't stick to the towel. I'd ask you to help Mary Ellen, but your hands usually aren't clean. Well, it depends on how you define clean. Last time you helped me make food with my hands, I lost three nails in the cut view there, remember? Yes, that's one of the reasons why I'm not having you help me today. So, our next step is to brush our butter onto our dough the inside here. Now, um, don't go out and buy an expensive pastry brush. Don't, no. Just don't do it. Well, this looks like something I would paint my kitchen with. Yeah, they're they're like a dollar twenty, you know, or a dollar fifty at a at a home improvement store. Is this horse hair? It's perfectly fine. You know, it's a natural bristle brush, and you can use it to unmelted butter. Yeah, just make sure you're not using one that you've used to uh, paint the kitchen. <laughs> right. Yes. Use a new one. Okay. I have to make and sure you know these things, Mary Ellen, because you set your kitchen on fire with melted butter. Yes. It was really an accident. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was an accident, but still. That's why I have to tell you to use a new paintbrush if you're going to use it as a pastry brush, and not one that you've used to paint your bathroom with. All right, so we're just going to finish painting. That's perfect pastry brush. Now, we're going to put our apples on. Well, it's probably just as well because you know, mm. it's a lot of apples for this size of pastry dough. Mm. It is too many. There we go. We're just going to spread these out. We want to stay away from one edge here because we've got to try and seal that edge if we, at the, after we finished rolling it. I'll bet anything would taste <laughs> good if you put sugar on it. We're going to roll this up. I'll get it. Mm hmm. Here you go, Mary Ellen. All right. And then we're going to seal the edges. And that works because of the juices. Mm hmm. Tasty. From the apples. It allows you to seal. And we'll bring this up here. Now, what do we do? Our next step is to get this onto our baking sheet. <laughs> Oh. Careful, man. I disturbed my flour. Yes, you did. All right. Now, I've greased this baking sheet with a little bit of butter. And we're going to bring this over. And there it is. I'm going to have to do a little resealing. Yes, reseal it. How long do you cook it for? Do you bake it? Is that what you're doing? Yes, we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven. 350 degrees? That's very hot. What did you want to do? Try and do this under a sun lamp? Now, our next step, well, first what we're going to do is we're going to slit the top a bit. I thought you were going to sign your name. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose one could. That will allow the uh, steam to escape. Then we're going to brush the outside. More butter. With more butter. Oh. We've got, now this is cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar, did you mix it together mm -hmm. yourself? We really? mix it together. We're going to sprinkle this on. Now, the nice thing about this is when it comes out of the oven, it sparkles as if it's been snowed on. Excuse me. <laughs> Charming. We all like sparkling pastry, don't we? I love sparkling pastry. Mm -hmm. there. All my pastries sparkle. As you do, darling. All right, so now we're ready to pop this into the oven. Pop it right in the oven. We'll do that. <coughs> there we go. Now, why don't you come back and see how it comes out? We'll be back in a moment. And here it is. Wow, it's fabulous. Look at that. It's so Doesn't exciting. Look good? A finished product. And I helped. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, it's a nail. I wonder how it got in there. I wonder how that fingernail got in there. <laughs> I don't know, Mary Ellen. All right, shall we try it? Yes. Shall we try it as the Pope Catholic? Mary put food in front of me and asked me if I want to try it. 
And look at how it sparkles. See how it's, look at the sparkle. Isn't that beautiful? Look of course, at you gave it the end. I can't cut it. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's pretty tasty, isn't it? I think it came out very well. So, come by BrinnyMaxwell.com for the recipe. And be sure and join us again next week when I'm sure Mary Ellen will be eating again. Are you going to make more food? You know it. Maybe she'll try Lutefisk for us someday. Mm, don't count on it. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. The spirit is moving. The spirit is moving. Traveling along. Traveling along. The spirit is going and you know it never goes wrong. Hold on to the spirit. Playing till it sticks. That wonderful spirit. That's the spirit of men. Bye now. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs>